so every time I log in, this is my view. This is what I get to see every single time I open the game. <laughs> Not joking. I didn't move the camera. I, I turned on the game and I started the stream. So all you're seeing is this tree that I put here in front of my house. So this is what my character sees. And uh, now I can't get it to do it again. This is what we see. Isn't that silly? Isn't that ridiculous? I have no regrets. I like the way the houses are lined up. I like everything the way it is. I think it's arranged nicely. Uh, it, the, the camera movements, though, you know. <laughs> Certain games do a pretty good job of, like, removing obstacles. Like, right now I'm clipping through the tree. A lot of games, they would just remove the tree with the camera. You know, you wouldn't know it's there. But not Dreamlight Valley. No, no. Dreamlight Valley. Or some games would have the camera get pushed because of the tree or the building in the way. Not Dreamlight Valley. Hello to everybody. Welcome. This is the area we're working on today. Uh, this was, in fact, a live stream. But if you're watching after the fact, really appreciate you. Let me know in the comments uh, when this is all done how I did. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know. That's in the future for me. Uh, but welcome to uh, all of our members. I saw Megan. You just joined the Bellionaires Club. So thank you so much to you. Uh, you are awesome. And then Carol Lee is here and Sleepy May and Wesley and Bringsbane and Joe and Rogue and Valley and Tamita and Lori. Welcome, everybody. So, yeah, what we're going to do is some first some rearranging. And then, yeah, we're going to we're going to basically overhaul this entire area. I've already laid it out on a previous stream. And now today I'd like to decorate it. I have a couple ideas of how this is going to go. Uh, but really, I think it's going to be a mess. I think it's going to be a really big mess. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, so, let me get into building mode here. Oh, gosh, I got a lot of fish on me. Let me go ahead and we'll zoom out. I'll give you like a bird's eye view. So, this is what we're working with. From, from this staircase all the way up to this one, we've created these little four quadrants here. And we were going to kind of decorate like this. We're going to put little bushes and trees and... And all that sort of thing. Um, so what I wanted to show you was a new item that I finally got. And it's the topiary square. You can see I bought 10 of them. Um, this thing kind of changed it up for me a little bit. And once I got this, I thought, well, wait a minute. Maybe this should be incorporated into the build somehow. So I don't know, I don't know exactly how. Like we need to we need to watch out for the paths. Because I want them to be this wide, but with the ponds there, I don't know what we can do. I don't know what we can accomplish. Because there's a pond here, and then a pond here. So that might change some of our plans if we if we try and go that route. But I do like these a lot, and I did want to try and incorporate them. Um, let's see. Happy Thanksgiving from Canada. Lindsay, happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, you're, it's about, you're welcome. It's about time I joined. Uh, come to see talented building to get inspired. AJ's clicked on the wrong live stream. Uh, Diamond, how's it going? How do you get Scrooge storage safe? He's at level 10. I can't find it. You need to do all of his quests, and he should give it to you as a reward, and then it'll be in your storage tab. It's not in mine right now because it's not in my inventory. Once it's in your storage tab, you can buy more of them. If it's not working, it might be a bug. And in that case, uh, hopefully the update fixes it. But I haven't heard of that being a bug. So I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah. So yeah, someone said I could put it in the middle, the, the topiary square. And I could, but I really would like a straight shot from this staircase to this one. Sunshine, thank you for the five gifted memberships. And Lindsay, Super Share, Rogue L, Tansy Crossing, and Green Carpathian. You are all members now. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much. Got some martial hype there from Bringsbane. Thank you. Much appreciated. Everyone's being so nice. I haven't done anything yet. You know, this could go ba really bad for you. This You could have some buyer's remorse here imminently. So what if we were to put the topiary square basically here? Let's just see what the paths would do if we did that. So I can move this bench out of our way. I need to go down there and grab all the extra little crap that's spawned. So we can we can do that real quick. 
We gotta move Wally's truck. I might move that to its new um, permanent home. We're not gonna decorate it, but I have an I had a I've had an idea for where I want Wally's truck for a while now. You bought ten topiaries, that's enough done. <laughs> ten is not enough. Those things are amazing and I want them everywhere. Oh! Hello. I haven't got a memory in a while. Maybe it's because I'm playing No Man's Sky. That might be why I'm not getting a lot of these memories. I've been playing a lot of No Man's Sky. Okay. I don't even know if these sticks are in my way, but I'm trying to I'm trying to just pick up anything that could potentially get in our way as we're doing this. I love how you narrate and react to things in games. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's grab all of this. Do some digging as well. Feed the bunny. Uh, what are the bunnies like? Do they, I guess, carrots? I don't have any carrots on me. I need to do that more. We need to feed some critters because my, uh, you know, the equivalent of the critterpedia in this game is kind of lacking. <laughs> so we definitely need to do that. Um... Yeah, let's go home real quick, and I'll grab some carrots. I found a pimple inside my nose today. I literally had a hard time squeezing it. What? Ritsu, why? What is this going on now, Ritsu? What happened? Why are you saying things like this? Ritsu, I just ate dinner. Okay? I mean... I'm not trying to I'm not trying to shame you or anything. It's just some it's like a TMI situation. You know, I've had that happen. It's not comfortable, but what I didn't do was you know, talk to people after they had dinner and tell them all the details. <laughs> Carrots, corn, most vegetables. Okay. We can do that. Um I got some carrots. I, I thought I had more. Star Chase, how's it going? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know, Ritsu. You're trying to... You knew I just ate. You just wanted to see if I'd throw up. I'm, w I'm not going to. Because it's fine. Ugh. Mo Moana keeps giving me fish that I don't have room for in my chests. And I keep having to make excuses to expand my seafood storage. So now I just got this fish. A perch. And, like, what What am I supposed to do? I guess I'll take the bass and move it to the other one. I don't know. I'm trying not to sell them. This is the hoarding coming back. We talked about this. I'm not currently eating. I'm, my body's just happily digesting right now. Or it was. Everything's kind of halted since I read your comment. Uh, have you named your regal fox? Uh, do I, do I have a regal fox? Um, foxy. Fox face. Oh, wait, the regal fox. That's the, that's the one that I've had since the start. Yeah, fox face. In fact, the full name is what does the fox face? And it's many challenges. Trying to find a home for all my flowers right now. Just really trying to clear out my inventory because it seems like it's going to be a thing. Uh, that's not where that goes. This is junk that I need to sell because I have too much of it. Uh, and then we got one more fish that I missed. I missed fish. Okay, so we got our carrots. If we, if we run into any more rabbits, we can feed them those. And I think that's good. I think we're I think we're okay. What? I didn't come here for anything else, did I? It was just the carrots and to remove the stuff from my inventory. All right, we can go. Mom's been throwing shade at me for not working on the valley as much. She keeps telling me, wow, the valley looks great. <laughs> Man, I hate the sarcasm from some of these characters in these games. I, I just don't know what that's all about. It's been a problem ever since I started playing these more cozy games. I think squirrels like fruit. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here. Approach. I think we can get away with this. Yeah. Yeah, they're happy. 
I keep critter food in the last line constantly. That's a good idea. I run into them all the time, and I just have to, like, move on. Peanuts. Yeah, that's the one they love. Is that a rabbit? Do I just see a rabbit? Oh, here we go. Come here. Uh, all right. I will, I'll play your game. I will play your game. I got carrots literally for you. Stop bounding around. Approach. There we go. Here you go. I like when a villager says your house has so much personality, but it's empty. <laughs> well, I guess your house has more personality than the villager. Because they're constantly just saying the same crap. Yeah, no one gets on Dreamlight Valley for that, by the way. Poor Nintendo devs. Like, they wrote all this dialogue for Animal Crossing characters, and we all said, there's not enough dialogue in Animal Crossing. The Dreamlight Valley characters just say the same four sentences whenever you happen to walk by them. Uh, like, good morning to you, says Goofy at four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, why do they have to make morning so early, says Maui at seven o'clock at night. And nobody says peep. Nobody says a word about how little dialogue the Dreamlight Valley characters seem to say. Like, constantly. Like, they, they paid these voice actors probably a bunch of money for them to say, like, four lines and have, uh, you know, have a, a day after that. Then they could just go to lunch. And that was it. <sighs> Good morning. Four o'clock. Mickey's the only one who acknowledges it being late. You know, like, eight o'clock, he's like, it's getting late. And, and you're like, okay, good. Mickey can tell time, and literally nobody else can. All right, what was I doing? I think we were doing paths. Worked in my yard in the forest of Valor. It turned out great. Nice. Xena, how's it going? Carissi gifting five memberships. Oh, my gosh. Donald says some stuff about being past his bedtime. Okay, Donald could tell time. Unless you're talking about it in the morning. Care Bear, Kit, uh, Neptune, Cameron, or Carmen, sorry, Alexis, and yes. That, those were all the gifted memberships just now. Thank you so much. Kit, like, just got here and said hi, but was gifted a membership. <laughs> There you go. Enjoy your emotes. Chrissy, thank you so much. Thanks for all the gifted members, everybody. Maybe all the clocks are broken, including the one you craft for mini. Oh, I have that one, by the way. I did finish that. Uh, maybe we'll use it today. Everyone must be waking up at the quack of dawn in Dreamlight Valley. Okay, Ritz is back. Ritsu is back. You did it, Ritsu. All the clock towers say midnight. Oh, that's true. The clocks don't, they don't work. I forgot. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so I think this could go maybe here. Oh, no, it can't. I wonder why. Is it because of Wally? It's because of Wally's house. All right, so let's move Wally's house. I'm going to get rid of the cone for now. And then we'll take Wally's house. Here's where I think Wally's house would look great. Somewhere up here. I think this cool rusted out truck looks kind of nice in this lighting. Um, so I was thinking of putting it over here. Except I can't. I need to move some trees or something. What is... What do you suppose this is? It is a tree. It's just not letting me grab it for some reason. Oh, it is. It is. I'm just trying to make a clearing. Temperamental tree. Uh, Alright. There's some bones, too, which I don't know how to move yet. Let's move those sticks out of the way. Um... And there's a little shrub we can put over here. And we got this flower that might be in the way. I can't grab it. Oh, I almost got it. I almost got it. I need to use the mouse again. I forgot. I forgot that it's much, much easier to use the keyboard and mouse for decorating. All right. There. This is temporary. I'm going to decorate for Wally. I'm probably going to put Wally over here or something. Well, there's a cave over there. I don't know. Maybe well, this is not a great place for Wally. I don't know. I just thought it would look cool. Um, I'm not sure there's a way to move the bones yet. Yeah, I think the bones will be like a thing once Scar is in the game. Um, we'll have to be friends with him. Ugh, which stinks. And then, you know, he'll tell us how to move them. Okay. So, this hedge depends on us being able to put paths where I want them. So I'm going to go and just see, like, how far we can get. Oh, ooh. Okay, we could probably come out to here. So that's two tiles, basically. 
which means we can we can erase two tiles from here from this side so that means we can do uh come on that and that except okay they have to be if i want the, all the paths to be three wide which might not be possible we can do it that way hmm Okay. Ah, I decorated the pumpkin house today. I hope it gets used soon. Oh, the pumpkin house is awesome. Yeah, maybe Scar will gnaw through the bones. Yeah, but maybe we have to get the bones to Scar because he's hungry. And we don't want him to gnaw on us. It'll be exciting to do all the upcoming quests, Scar, Toy Story, in the valley is going to be more designed by... In, in a valley more designed by us. I agree. As a proud pumpkin farmer, I wish I could move, it into, <laughs> move into it so badly. That'd be great. Why don't we get our pick? That would be awesome. This isn't so bad. Uh, the the way the topiary is placed right now, it's kind of like partway on the paths. So this actually, now that I'm looking at this, this uh, in a little more context, this actually might work for us. So let me let me do that for now. Okay. So that would be the new layout. Can we do it on this side? Is the question, and I don't know the answer to that. So let's see. Uh, let's take these and just put them over here for now we need another one of these topiaries and we would put it here okay this is going to be a a squeeze this is going to be a squeeze so let's pull back two of these all right and then we can go two tiles this way and whoosh. i knew it i knew that was going to be a problem it still might not be a big deal. Maybe maybe we can get around this. Let's put this bush over here. It's not the biggest of deals, right? Like we can we can work with that. A couple of little shrubs there and you won't even know that there's a, a bite taken out of the path here. I think I can live with that. Uh, Dream My Valley is notoriously not symmetrical at all. So you just kind you kind of got to just deal with it. All right, what other challenges are we going to run into? Now, I will say, I did really like the idea of having these trees and stuff here. I, I don't know if flat topiaries are going to do it for me. But before I make any rash decisions, let's just commit to this for a moment. We can always put the trees on the outside of this, right? Okay, let's move this. Okay. All right, another topiary. Uh, all right, we'll take these benches and just kind of shove them in the middle. And we would put this right there. Okay, that's the same dimensions, basically. And you know what? I'm kind of looking at it and going, well, if I really want to make it even, I would actually hide the grass like that. Like, I think that would be the most fair way to, like, distribute these. Okay. That looks better. I like that. I like that I can't see the grass now. And I know I could just put path under it, but that's not the point. So, okay. We're going to do that. We're going to take the path. We're going to pull that up there. And we're going to pull it up here. Ah, dang it. I'm proud of you for adjusting your needs to <laughs> to be symmetrical. The old you would never leave a gap like that. I haven't committed to this yet. <laughs> I've definitely not committed to that at all. So don't be don't be too proud. Okay. Good. This is going good. I am going to start recording footage in the background, so if the stream starts lagging for you, please let me know. I like to try and use really nice, clean-looking footage for videos. And uh, recording it separately from the stream is how I do that. But I'm still constantly worried about that looking bad for, for you guys. 
I did not finish deleting the excess paths, so now I'm going to have to do that right now. Should be fine. Okay. Good. And I think we're going to create a big plaza in the middle of this. So instead of the paths being three wide in the middle, we would actually go ahead and start adding them like this. Oh boy. Sort of like this. I like this pathing tool better than the one in Animal Crossing, but oh my gosh, it's still kind of finicky. It's definitely not perfect. There's some logic there though. Like if you go over paths, see like if you back up, it deletes it. Like it kind of knows what you want to do. I, I think it's pretty smart, but it's it's also it also could be better at the same time. Like if I start in the middle and then start going, it'll start deleting paths. So you have to start at the edge, which is hard to do when you've placed something on top of it. Uh, there we go, and then we can do that. Perfect. Melanie, how's it going? I haven't found the topiaries yet. Can't wait to get those. They're awesome. Yeah, Scrooge sells them. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, so we got the we got the topiaries here, and we have a ton of space in the middle, which means we can really, you know, we can really do something with that. I don't know exactly what yet. Definitely want these little park benches though to be placed here, there, and everywhere. It does look like they center with the topiaries nicely, which is a, a good, you know, <laughs> change of pace for this game. So we can definitely, oh boy, wait a minute, do that. Yeah, that's centered. Goofy stall in the middle. Mmm, I like that idea. Hey, that's a great idea. All right, let's play around. Yeah, let's play around with that. First, let me grab some more benches. I got five more park benches. Thank goodness I hoarded those. Oh, wow, symmetry. <laughs> Isn't it great? Uh, so Goofy's stall, I've always liked the way this looks. This is the first stall we find from Goofy. I l I've always loved the tree kind of hanging over it and the little junk they put around it. But I've already moved some things out of the way and all that jazz. So let's just, we're just going to have to, you know. We could put it straight in the middle, but this is where people are supposed to walk. I did want that straight shot you know, to the stairs. Um, and if I put it here, the person sitting here can't see the person sitting here and people watching is like a whole thing. So I don't want to take that away from anybody. If we put it here, that's a tree. How did I even get this? Where did this tree come from? Okay. Oh, all right. It was down there. Got it. Anyway, if I put it here, then it's kind of, there's not a lot of like room to decorate around it. I could put it here and suddenly our path chunk problem becomes just a little bit less of an issue. And I kind of do like that. Goofy's house used to be by this pond, so it's kind of a fitting location. You got mini yesterday. Oh, congrats. That's awesome. Used to hide the chunk. That's, yep. So I was, we were thinking alike there. Um, what if they want to be antisocial? You can go sit somewhere else. <laughs> uh, remove the one bench and put the stall where the bench was. Could do that. Ritsu for four months. Thank you so much. I forgot to mention yesterday I went to Louisiana Bistro with, and with Twist. I met my old high school teacher who was just leaving the place and saw me. Oh, wow. Cool. Unless you don't like them. That's, that's a different story. But it sounds like... Sounds like that's something you uh, were happy about. That's cool. I specifically don't go outside, so I don't have to run into anybody I used to know. But I'm happy for you. <laughs> so we can put like these barrels like there, and that also obscures that little chunk area that was taken out. The teleport well in the middle. Ah, okay. That might be a good excuse for interrupting the walking path. I will say, although it looks nice, it's so close to this well that that feels a little bit silly to me. But then again, Goofy's stall being right next to it is helpful too. It's helpful as well. 
right? That's what I did with mine. Put the tree next to the pond near his stall. Oh, oh, hey, that's not a bad. We can just we can just shove this tree, and I can I can get back to the yeah having. Oh, look at you. Well, we need to put it more to the side, but still, great idea. Thank you for that. Oh yeah. Hey, that's great. Well, it looks nice. Koi's here. How's it going? Well, well to you as well. Sorry. I'm sorry. Do we like the well in this spot, though? Is it good? I think I like it. The well looks swell. Okay. All right. That's enough. Let's see. So this is one, two. Okay. One, two. Hey, symmetry. Symmetry wins again. We got to keep it here now. It's going very well. We're breaking all the <laughs> puns tonight. This is good. I, I know it lines up with this one, but I don't care. I still like it. Carrie, how's it going? Uh, you can put the orb instead of the well. Oh, the orb, yes. This this thing. I don't know. I do like it where it is, but it may move. It could go where Merlin's house used to be. This seems like a good spot for a farm or something. It's like a nice spot. Rotate some of the topiaries so they're not facing all the same way. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we could do that. So let's see. That deleted it. That was not the rotate button. Let's try that again. Um, that is the rotate button. So well, we can all have them point towards the center. See how, now how all the lighter topiers kind of point like arrows to the, the well in the middle? I like that. Thanks. Good call. Well, we did it. That's it. I'm kidding. I do think we need to figure out the trees and stuff now. I like this big red tree, but we already have a red tree over here. So now I feel like it has to go kind of where Goofy's stall used to be, maybe somewhere over there. <laughs> um, needs a pumpkin puff display, but other than that, it's a 10, a pumpkin puff display. I don't know if I want to do that. A pumpkin puff display. Maybe there'll be like a little f food table somewhere. That's what everyone wants, right? Like a public buffet that's not being watched by anybody. No supervision. Hmm? Let's see. Pull this over here. I want to see something too, because I want to. I want these stairs to be welcoming, but obviously they're going to be kind of tough to uh, to map out. Well, it's not terrible. Oh, is that four? That's four tiles. Okay, well here, let's cut that back. We're doing three wide paths. And then can we bring this, ah, that's stupid looking. Okay. That's also not great unless we put something right here. I kind of think we just bring all of these up, so I don't care if the path goes like four wide. And then does that mean we let it be kind of jagged? You see that? You see how that's all jagged? We can put some foliage and things. But I like the idea of having it kind of all pathed in. What do you think? I'm going to hide the corners. If I do, do you guys like that? The only thing I don't like is this one because I don't know how to hide that. So I might get rid of these and just put something else here. Let 
when in doubt, place a bush. And we got a lot of them to choose from for the meadow. You know, we can just put that right there. Flowers and foliage. We should put pathing under the stairs. Yep, same problem in Animal Crossing. Couldn't put pathing under the stairs. So obnoxious. Oh, all right. And so we'll just pull this up as much as we can. Pull that one back because we've already made the mistake before. Okay. And then we'll just do this. There. Symmetry wins again. I like it going to the stairs like that. I think that's good. So now I just got to figure out something to go right over here and here. And they've already kind of started putting bushes and stuff for us. So we could just continue that trend. Works in every game I've played so far. If you hate it, how it looks, just throw a plant life at it till it looks okay. What are we saying bees knees for? What's going on? Landscaping the weird gaps. Yeah, okay. Let me take a look at the landscaping tab then. So a lot of these plants will have, yeah, peaceful meadows. So they'll have like the, their area of origin listed. It's just like growing in the concrete, which is not, it's not the worst thing. It's just kind of silly. What others do we have? Peaceful Meadow Bush. The bushes look really good. Like, they cover everything so well. 23 skidoo. Why is everyone trying to look up old phrases and sayings? What's happening right now? How do I... How am I always losing control of, this, of the chat? Good for you for using non-invasive plants in your designs. Oh, I'm just getting started. Who knows what could happen? Any number of things could go really just horribly wrong. Like I could put this this stuff, which is clearly like toxic to the environment everywhere. Actually, it won't let me put it on the tile, which is kind of silly. Awesome, Sean. Been a while. About to turn 23 in three days. Oh, well, happy birthday. Yes, it has been a while. Thank you for jumping in. Hope you're doing well. Any big plans for your birthday? Let's grab some more of those bushes, because I know I just have them you know, laying around like this. I kind of think, stop it. I think we should go somewhat symmetrical with these. We can put like, I don't know, a little bit of symmetry because we need to cover all the stuff, all the little corners just the same. These are both the same size, so let's see, let's do that. How come that's not looking right? That doesn't seem, something's not right. Is it because they're flipped around? Up. Oh, did it again. Cynical Hippie, how's it going? I think that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Right one needs to move over to the left. So this one... It kind of puts too much of a gap between them. I don't think that's correct. I think they're both like this. It's just the way the path kind of like fades. That's why it's tricking my eye. Silly Heather, how's it going? How have you been? Everyone should be following Silly Heather, by the way. Flower bush needs to move too. Oh, you think the actual, the flower bush itself is in the wrong spot. Are you sure? If I move it here, and then I move this, here, okay, that's, I see what you're saying. So it goes, it actually goes this way. 
Mm, okay, maybe maybe I see what you're saying now. Is that right though? Oh my gosh, symmetry is so hard. Yeah, we could use the tiny pebbles. Those would be awesome here. Oh, I wish there was like a grid. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right because they can't be pulled anymore in. So I think that's correct. Good. All right, I'll take it. That looks good. Whew. Okay. Now that that's done, uh, let's continue. I'm going to grab more of these and put them over here and over here ish sort of how come now wait a minute this one came right up this one got tucked right in this one is being a little less cooperative not much i can do about it though let's move that out of the way for now And we still got to get, yeah, we'll get some tiny pebbles. I'm just kind of working with one type of thing at a time. So right now it's bushes. And I think, I think we need some more. So we're using peaceful meadow flower bush. Are there any other peaceful meadow? So there's the dwarf maple and light dwarf maple. Oh, and there's the dwarf bu uh, birch. They all look the same. What's going on? Am I using the same one constantly? The colors are exactly the same. Okay, this one's a bit larger. Wall behind it's different. Yeah, I think you're right. So... Okay. Put that there. Put this. We don't want to block that rock, too. We got to be able to mine that. Uh, okay. We might need to go move on to rocks because, uh, at least at this entryway, there's not much more I can like really do. I can see this one is a bit lighter than this one as well. Okay. Yeah, mixing up the plaza bushes, the dwarf ones would be cool. What I was hoping for was another flower bush, but, like, not flowers. I don't know. Plaza fern. Oh, I'm not supposed to be using plaza stuff. I'm supposed to, be, I'm supposed to be using meadow. Does the meadow have ferns? It looks like everywhere but the meadow has ferns. But the meadow, the meadow has these reeds, which probably only go in the water, right? Yeah, the reeds only go inside the water. Good to know. Uh, then there's also Peaceful Meadow Greenery, which is an item I really do like uh, that I think we're definitely going to need a lot of. I was already using it somewhere, but yeah, let's let's think about putting it like um, over here. So kind of grab these out of the way. Like, nope. We can, nope. Grab this. Yeah. See, I like that. And then... Right? Something like this. Ah, tuck it in. There we go. We'll be putting street lights. Indeed, indeed. I have a few different options for those as well. Okay. So I like... I like the greenery quite a bit. It's probably my favorite landscaping item. Like anything, you don't want to overuse it. Where did it go? It's just gone. I was just talking about how it was my favorite thing, and now it's just gone. Oh, here it is. But, yeah, I could put another one over here, but, like, kind of shift it around. Maybe it's not exactly the same orientation. Maybe it's not in the exact same spot. Or maybe it can go out here a little bit. I'm a little bit hesitant to put too much out here. Because I might want a path going this way at some point for, for, like, this is a great spot for someone's house. I'm not sure who's yet. 
So I kind of want this area to be not super locked into anything. States, just states need to be able to mine the rock, then proceeds to block the rock. I think I can still get to it. Oh, I might have made it a little bit of a squeeze. Okay. Here, let me get in there and uh, see if we can like, actually dig that up and stuff. Sunlit plateau bushes mixed in could complement the yellow hedges. Yeah, it might be time to start looking at the bushes from the other biomes. I've been very hesitant to do that. Okay, a bunch of stuff just moved on its own. I, uh, You know I hate when that happens. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like you move something, you get it looking the way you want, and then the game just like decides to roll back some of your progress. That's pretty frustrating. Uh, okay. So, just get rid of that. Take this. Shift it around. So, originally I had it, like, right here. And we were saying that block the rock. Okay. All the time. Yeah, I think getting out of that menu once in a while. Okay, yeah, we can still reach it. This is totally fine. Uh, getting out of that menu once in a while while you're building is probably a good idea. Okay. Your game just crashes and you lose all the work. Oh, okay. Similar, but different. Got it. <laughs> uh, all right. Back to furniture moving mode. So, yeah, I think for the entrance here, I like that. It looks good. We can use these pebbles, like you guys said, and uh, put those around. I know there was one... Oh, you know what? Yeah, we could do this. Like, what if we put this? Uh, it's two in the way. Yeah, I think it could go over here. But not where I had it. But I know there's... I know I could just go grab one out of the thing. But Yeah, here we go. This is one. So we could have it just like that. And it's... Yeah, that's good. Loving the outfit? Thanks. Yeah, I just got that. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. When I fast travel crash or enter my house, it's gotten worse this week. Are you playing on PC? I'm hoping the update fixes a lot of these issues. There are a lot of issues that need to be addressed. Um, let's move this back. I want this tree right there. We're going to surround this thing in big trees. So I think there's good. And I don't want them perfectly placed down. So yeah, we'll put this one like back here a little bit. Okay, looking good. Switch. Okay, so are the switch crashes just really common then? Is that what's going on? Sounds like that's probably the case. Okay. Switch crashes are pretty common. Man, it stinks. Crashes a lot. To think I almost got it on Switch. Very common. I used to get one or two an hour. Now it's four or five. Ooh. I thought you were going to say it improved. That is not what you said. Gosh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, so there's another there's another problem. The reason I'm like so stuck on decorating right now is that I'm realizing there's going to be things I want to put around this place. Some things I don't know yet because we're in the future. We're going to get updates and more houses and stuff like that. But I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about are the things I know that I've been wanting for a while. And one of those things is a place to pick fruits and stuff. Like there are a lot of bushes and, and crap like that scattered around. And not every biome needs its own, uh, like I've done up here, it needs its own place to like pick up fruits and stuff. So what I've done in the Forest of Valor, for example, is I took the lemon trees and put them here. And I took all the little blueberry bushes and put them here. And there's even a blueberry bush tucked over here, which I got to figure out a place for in the future. But, you know, that's kind of my solution 
over in this spot, and it, it made everything really easy to find. If I want to go pick some fruits, no problem. Now, in the plaza, I did the same thing. What I did is I took four apple trees, and I put them around here, and then I took four raspberry bushes and put them here. And again, everything's in one spot, really easy to, if I want to go pick some fruits, go find them and grab them. But I don't need to do that for every single biome. So I was thinking maybe this is the biome where we put the majority of the other bushes. Um, now we do have some stray bushes. Like this is another raspberry bush. And I don't know that it could go somewhere else as like a decoration. But I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking that we just need to find and gather up all the different little fruit trees and stuff and then go from there. One that would look particularly nice in this meadow are the cherry trees because they're pink. And I think having those in a certain pattern or sequence around this could look really nice. Um, I think there's six and you're using four in your designs. Gotcha. Okay, good to know. Because, yeah, there's one here too. So, yeah, now we have those. Then we got banana trees, which I do think should go on the beaches. I don't necessarily think those should be up here at all. And there's yellow and green for some reason. So yeah, we can just, let's just put those there for now. And coconut trees should go down here too. So I do want them to kind of be in specific biomes where they make sense. But I have no problem taking the ones from the other biomes up north and pulling them down to here. So these are cocoa trees. And there's just no reason they need to be so far away. Like, we're just going to start collecting these guys and seeing what we can do. Sakura everything. Yeah, we got cherries up here too. I think we'll corral them kind of where Merlin's place is and we'll just start taking inventory. This is going to be kind of a tedious process because there's no way to move the camera any faster. But we got another cherry. Cocoa in the glade. Do you guys know the count for each of these trees? It always felt like there were a lot of cocoa trees. And it, only, it feels like there's only a few cherry trees. Like, I already have four cocos, and I've only checked one biome. And I know there are more, like you said, in the glade, which I'm here now. So there's one here. And there's a lemon tree over here. Cherries and Frosted Heights. I do know that. I think there's only two, right? There's another lemon. Uh, why? Oh my gosh. Camera needs to auto-rotate instead of hold to rotate. I'm okay with the rotating. It's the it's just the drifting along like this movement. Camera movement's just way slow when you're scanning the map. But I like that we can decorate while we're anywhere. I can, I my character is all the way in the meadow and I can be in this biome and like grab stuff, which I love. So that's six. I think that's all of them. That's six cocoa trees. I think I know where to get more lemons as well. I think in the forgotten, forgotten lands, there are lemons. Oh, wait, we have, oh, right, these bushes too. These are, uh, I forgot the fruit name, but these things are definitely good to have. So this is the Forgotten Lands. Here's the pumpkin house everyone's like decorating right now, which we will probably do a stream decorating that. Apples and gooseberry. Okay, thank you. Uh, so apple trees then. The Forgotten Lands really tough to find stuff because the trees are just so big and they like there's a lot of overhang. All the noise is like changing. <laughs> Gosh, this is so far away. Uh, okay, I'm sure there's a fourth gooseberry bush. Is it? I think it's gooseberry. I think that's right. I just know it was some kind of berry. 
oh, the skybox changing like that is like so confusing. Um, so let's see. Oh, there it is. We got our fourth one. Let me know if the stream's lagging at all. My when I when I zoom out this much, my and I'm recording. My graphics card is like, why? Why are you doing that? And it's breathing very heavy. What do we think? Uh, there's definitely an apple tree there. My meadow is just Wally's super farm with all the harvestables. <laughs> Not a bad idea. All right, so we got an apple tree. There's probably another one. I don't want to forget any of these. If we're going to make a big fruit orchard and we're going to make it symmetrical, if I forget even one tree, it will ruin my life. I don't mean to be dramatic. I kind of do. But it will ruin my life. I'm pretty sure there's another apple tree lurking in this forest. I will find it. It's got to be. Awful gaming, how's it going? No lagging? Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you. You can check your map. I guess I can. Thank you. Uh, I guess while I'm in this mode, I can't, so I have to... I have to move my myself back to my character. But that's a good idea. So let me just do one more scan. Okay. Let's go back and check the map. All right. So the Sunlit Plateau, all out of fruits. Forgotten Lands was all out of fruits. We got them from there. We're keeping those ones there. Uh, we're probably keeping all of these here because they're like banana trees and coconut trees. The glade is all out of fruits. And then the last place we haven't gone yet, and we do have that extra blueberry bush, uh, is up here in the Frosted Heights. So we have six different things to grab from Frosted Heights. And then that's pretty much all of it. Okay. It would have crashed by now on the switch. Oh, gosh. So let's zoom out, go over here. Good tip there, checking the map. We have six different things to pull out of this place. So let's just put them all. Ooh, there's a lot more cherry trees than I thought. That's great to, to hear. That means there's six of these total. So there's four cherry trees. And there's probably some bushes too. There's a gooseberry. And that's not, there's not just one. No, there's two. That is six things. Okay, we found everything. Cool, let's go. There's got to be a way to move faster. <laughs> if I move the mouse to the edge of the screen, no. Let's just put them over there for now. We'll corral them in a different spot. Okay. Uh, we can grab that. All right. Do you have the sensitivity down? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, controls. Camera sensitivity for mouse and controller. Would it be this? Let me crank that real quick. Or is it just this one? I don't necessarily mind that. Not map. Um. This doesn't feel much faster or any faster. Um, but yeah, good, good call out. I'm glad those settings are different for both controller and for keyboard and mouse. How are you, Kato? Welcome back. Ugh. Pain in 
painfully slow. All right, that should be everything. Someone told me it impacted this view too, but I guess not. It does not seem like it does, unless there's another way to move that I don't know about. All right, so wow, uh, the cherry trees. We ended up with six total cherry trees. Six total gooseberry bushes. It seems like there are six of everything, maybe? Maybe not everything. Trying to just make a... Uh, we're just trying to take inventory right now. It's not working. Why won't things move in, in space the right way? Ruining my inventory aesthetic here. Come on, trees. There's just a lamp, a lamp post for some reason. Some people make meals out of pumpkins, then sell them. What's the best way to make money? Just sell pumpkins or make meals? Um, well, if you're willing to take the time, you can make more making pumpkins into meals. But uh, I think pumpkin puffs is one a lot of people use. But uh, I just sell the pumpkins because I just don't I, I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, if Once you have Kristoff, though, buying coal is like not an issue at all. So I'm personally, I'm like, like, for cooking like coal is not something i even consider anymore but yeah that would be the other thing you have to factor in okay so i think we've taken a full inventory of what we have at our disposal we have six cocoa bean trees six cherry trees two lemon trees six gooseberry bushes two raspberry bushes we know of one blueberry bush just chilling on its own so not a lot of rhyme or reason to uh, game lofts like selections here. <laughs> uh, I can look and just see coconut and banana trees uh, aside if there's any bushes hiding in here. It does not seem like there is. Not, not ones you can pick fruit off of anyway. Grilled veggie pie with three pumpkins makes more money, but it takes longer since you can't autofill. Pumpkin puffs are great too, but you need to buy the eggs and cheese too. Yeah, you do come out ahead with that method uh, as long as you can buy your coal from Kristoff and you don't have to worry about it. But it's just like the time you want to spend because, yeah, you can dump three pumpkins into it. I think you can make pumpkin puffs with three pumpkins too. Uh, so, yeah, you have options, but I I think if you just make a big enough pumpkin farm... And just do that a couple times in like a day, you'll have a ton of money. Like I haven't farmed pumpkins in days now because I just ha I had over a million coins, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good for a bit. I can buy out Scrooge's store a few times with this. This is good. All right, so yeah, I've looked around. I think we have a really weird number of bushes and stuff. It's making me reconsider this idea. But I don't know. Uh, right now, I have four raspberry bushes that have a home. I would say a permanent home right here. I can't really fit any more without changing this design pretty dramatically, so I don't want to change that. So the two raspberry bushes probably stay down here. The one random apple tree, really frustrating. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I would do with that. Like, why? Why is there just one? It makes me so upset. <laughs> why would they do that? Um, and then. Yeah, like even numbers are good. Two lemon trees, six of these. What do I do, guys? I want to make a fruit orchard, but I want it to make sense. Maybe the apple tree should be enshrined in the middle of it. I can always use it somewhere else. Maybe my house should have an apple tree next to it. Put the lone apple tree in front of your house. Uh, see, Zena's saying at the same time I am. Yeah, like what if I just put the apple tree right here? Now my yard looks more yard-y. Or it could go back here leaving room for something else right there let's say that's that's that problem solved you can add lemon trees to the forest lemon trees i do have enough room if i wanted to to put the extra lemon trees in the forest of valor so they could go like in the back like here and here and and that would look cool actually but the lions in front of them okay yeah let's do that 
anything you want to do in this game, yeah, that involves symmetry is a nightmare. Gosh, I wish I could teleport while I'm in this mode. It just takes so long to float around. All right, put that there for now. Ooh, you know what? Having trees in front of that garden also looks pretty good. <laughs> we'll come up here. See, like, if I put the lemon trees, like, here and here, that also is not bad. But I could put any tree here, and it would look good. So, yeah, let's try them where I was talking about, which would be right there. And there. That's pretty awesome. We need something right here behind the statue. Do we have anything? Do we have any cool? Probably something, right? Oh! Hmm. Maybe not that because I'm not even sold on this statue here. Like, it doesn't make much sense. Um, but it looks nice. I mean, it's the right size. That's the size of the thing I would want there. I'm just kind of browsing now. I mean, the Norwegian spruce tub, which I have no idea what to do. Like, what is this thing even for? I'll just put it there for now. Maui's statue is another really big, awesome item that I just don't know where I'd put it other than the beach. The flag banner arch thing. I already have those in the front as entrance items, though. Unless you're talking about something else. You're probably talking about uh, the other one. I think I know what you're talking about. I'll come back to that uh, once I find it, actually. Also, by the way... Ariel's Mystic Ru Mystical Ruin. Be careful with this one. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like. Because like when you click into it, you actually get this little plinth. Right? It's a mystical ruin, though, is what, is what it says. And it, the picture's broken. It's this two-by-two two picture. And then this is what it is. And can you put the statue on top of it? No. Like, it's just completely... Um... <laughs> Like, I don't know what it's for. And the picture's broken. So be careful placing it down because it might actually be... This might not be the final product is what I'm getting at. This might be like a huge pillar or something and it's just not working right now. It's the leader plinth. Yeah. But it's called a mystical ruin. And it's not. It's not that. It's not mystical nor a ruin. So I don't know what it's actually supposed to look like. I don't trust it, though. How did you get that? It was just at Scrooge's. It was just sitting there. I'm like, okay, I'll buy that. And then the day after, the step-up stool was the, like in that same spot. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That I know what that is. And I, I, I'm confident it will look like that. Topiary Square is a big item. Okay. That flag banner thing, you said I passed it earlier, so it's going to be up here somewhere. Here it is. So the festive pennants. Pendants, pendants, whatever. Those could go here. Or in the back. It's kind of weird. All of this is kind of weird. Uh, I don't think this goes there. I think those in the background like that look kind of cool. So much stuff. I Yeah, I try and buy out Scrooge's store every day, and I also buy out the catalog, the 25 items you can buy every day. I, even if I don't need them, I buy them. Because you just never know. When I get into decorating mode, I just don't know what I'm going to end up using. So I want to have everything. Because you have infinite storage, so why not, you know? Okay. The leaf pile rug, by the way... <laughs> such a good item. I haven't used it anywhere, but yeah. Oh, what? You can't put this underneath a person? A little statue? Whatever. You know. These candles are subtle, too. Two-headed desk lamp. Doesn't this thing look so cool? Like, just in the forest like that? 
Once you get close to it, you can tell it's like a metal lamp, but it's still pretty cool. I can't wait to see what people build in this game. I'm already seeing some incredible builds, but there's so many items like that you can manipulate and uh, really play with that are going to look awesome. All right, this is not the area I want to decorate anyway, so let's just leave it for now. But uh, I like that. I like that the way it is. It's good. Okay. Next, where should our orchard go? I did earlier comment ha about how this area was pretty nice. It's like a good size. It's a good. It would be a, like a good farm. So I think probably here. Um, Mr. McDuck never has any good stuff in the store for me. Just keep adding the same items to in in the wish list for furniture for future. Uh, Lizzie, didn't you have like a big waterfall thing? Like, how'd you get that? I was going to ask you, like, it was just a, an item you can place and it has like two waterfalls. It's really tall. Like I'd be putting that thing everywhere. I hate myself for not making two of Ariel's craft tables before I gave it to her. Oh, I'm not familiar with that one. I haven't done much for Ariel yet. That's the only cool thing he had in the store. Okay, so it was in the store. All right, that's good. All right, I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, we are going to make an orchard in this little corner here. So the way that's going to work is we're going to use basically all these different bushes and trees you see here. Well, wait a minute. Before I do, do I want to put the cherry trees... Do I want to put the cherry trees over here at all? Like, this could look really nice, putting them here. Like, what do we think of something like that? I have to measure it out, because I don't even think they're even with each other right now. Still waiting for the topiary. I never thought I was going to get it. It just popped in on the upstairs platform. Make sure the store full is fully upgraded, by the way. Do that. That's nice. See, I like that. Should I put more of them over here? Or just the two and then roll with four of them in the orchard? I think that's pretty cool. It is. I buy it out daily. Nature guy, how's it going? We were just playing around with trees. Hmm. Okay. I do like these here. I think I'm going to leave them, but I don't know if I'm going to put more. Four in the orchard. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. Okay. Cool. Let's leave them. So, orchard time. Uh, we will first grab the paths here. We're going to be using these uh, pebbly paths and... I say pebbly because they require pebbles to make more of them. I don't want to make more of them. I just want to steal what's here and try and make that work. So let's see if we can work with the tools we have at our disposal right now. Try not to keep wasting clicks here. Well, so much for that. Pull that down. Ah. I think Wally's garden is also going to move next to Wally's house, like everyone's been doing. Then again, it does look kind of cool, and I am putting like a garden over here, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. That's a pretty good amount of paths, I think. Right? Okay. So we've done that. And now I'd say we should probably find the middle of this thing so we can start to math out where everything's got to go. Mimu, we'll see you later. So to find the middle, what I'm going to do is put some of this stuff out of our way for a moment. We want a path running down the center. Maybe I could just use the trees to measure it out. Okay, so asphalt path. That's what we're... Oh, is it loose gravel? I th it was loose gravel. Okay. 
So eyeballing this, I think the middle is here. So I'm just going to draw this line. And I'm going to assume for a moment that this is the middle. And if that is the case, we should be able to fit a specific amount of trees on either side of it. Ah, there we go. Get, get in there. Get in there. I think... Oh, interesting. The path is like... Do you see that? That's stupid. What is going on there? The path is off. Okay, that's going to have to... All right, that's weird. That's why nothing lines up in this game. Maybe that's why certain things do line up. I don't know. All right. I think I was pretty close with that prediction. Not going to lie. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. We could put a tree there and a tree there, and we get like this sliver on both sides of, of land. It kind of like it kind of goes in over here in a way I can't control. It's really flat over here. But I think I nailed it. I think I, I centered that basically perfectly. Alex, how's it going? All right, we're going to call that center. Perfect. Very happy with that. I guess three wide for the path, like we've been doing all over the place. There's a tree in the way. Oh, it won't go up anymore. Okay, so we'll pull these down. That's where it stops. Yeah. Okay. So we have that. We have, again, six cocoa trees and four cherry trees. And then we got to do the bushes. So I think the first thing we do is deal with the trees. And then the bushes. So maybe if we have four cherry trees, how is this going to work? I think we should put them on like the outsides. So maybe what we'll do, I think I have an idea of how this could look. So getting rid of some of the excess stuff. What if we put the cherry trees here and then we have six of these. So we can do three on either side in this sort of pattern on both sides. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure where or how yet, but yeah, something like that. And then the bushes, <sighs> the bushes, these are much larger than I thought they were when I was doing this. So those are not going to be as easy to figure out. Put the trellis in between the rows of trees slash berry bushes. Trellis. Is that under decor? Yes, there's only two of those, so I gotta buy more of these, but so you're, you're thinking, what I was thinking of doing was kind of like we did in the other area, like we could put these trellis trellises as the entrance um, but then we could put the bushes in front of them so it would be kind of like what you're saying except so like like that so the bushes would be here and here and the trellises would stretch across to the ends um, that could look kind of cool I think the other thing I'm thinking is like speaking of trellises what if we took Wally's garden and we did use it in this build instead of giving it to Wally which just feel kind of mean um, but we put it like somewhere in here um like i think i'd have to get rid of these trees let's let's not get rid, rid of them let's just kind of put them aside because i actually like these and i want to use them in other parts of the build i don't want to lose them that tree is not one i can move okay so we would put wally's garden in the back it can't go on this path of course i don't even think it can center to be honest with you 
Oh, no, it can. It can. It's the trees that are blocking it. Okay, hold on. Move these out of the way for a moment. So, yeah, before we do anything, what if we... So, Wally's garden could go here, and the path is blocking... Oh, the path is not blocking it. It just probably removed it. And then we can decorate around it. Obviously, as you can see, the big problem with Wally's garden is that it, it's really difficult to center, but there is a way around that. So what we can do is actually try and center it, the, the entrance to it on the path like that, and then we can expand on the trellises. Ooh, oh, clever, except it's not clever, it's rude. Do you see this? Oh, oops. It won't let me place, like these trellises are not, on the same plane of existence as these ones. So I was I was going to add the trellises on the on the left side until the game said, "Nope. Nope, Wally's garden is sacred and you may not play with it." That's a shame because I liked where this was going. I still like where it's going. It's just we have to like make an excuse for the left side now. It has to be kind of like junked in a way. So with the trellises here, if we if we stick with this, what we're doing here, with the trellises on this spot, I think the trellises in the front become redundant and weird. So what we could do instead is like fences. I don't know which fences, where I'm going to get them, but we could put fences. Yeah, I could block the gap with a tree, but I don't know. Maybe. Like, if I do that, I'm going to know how off it is. And it's just, like, I can't even get it to be on the same, you know what I mean? <laughs> they made it so frustrating. I'm kind of thinking Wally's garden doesn't go here. Because I did want to give it to Wally. Finally, caught a stream from you. Keyblade, how's it going? Can the rock, oh, can the garden move back one square? I think it was as far back as I could have gotten it. I like there being something there. I will say that. But I don't know if it's Wally's garden. It might be something else. Let's look at our items and see what we got. Been doing good trying to help, trying to help Eric on his level 10 quests. Oh, nice. I still haven't unlocked Eric yet. I've been kind of behind. I did do a bunch of quests over the weekend, or the other week, though, but uh, I have not done that one. Hmm. I did not know I had this awesome-looking pillar. Oh, the rustic clock tower. Oh, and it does center on the path. Hmm. Let me put that there for now. That's a pretty cool one. And the rest are indoor items. Okay. I wish the clock tower was bigger. I want it much, much bigger. That's okay. It's fine. How is this every item? Oh, I'm just in decor. I'm like, how is this every item I own? That's not true. That is a falsehood. And it was. Put a picnic spot in the middle of the orchard. That's so wholesome. That's probably what I'll do. I'll need some tables. But I think we can do that. Before I commit to that, though, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else. Oh. The cooking fire pit. Again, another kind of beach-looking item, but it's... I think you could get away with this. Oh, it's pretty small. The leaf rug? Yeah, I could put the leaf rug like next to that. Uh, let's see what else, what else, what else? Okay, yeah, let me go to rugs. I don't know. That's kind of cool. 
you can't cook on it, which annoyed me. That is kind of annoying. It's kind of weird, like the the vibe of the clock tower versus the picnic area. I think you can, or this this particular picnic area that we're starting to make. I think you can only have one or the other, and I don't think it's this. I think the clock tower is a favorite of mine now, and I'm, I would like something else here if we're going to do this. So let's go to tables and see what options we have. I think there's that one we can craft ourselves. Aside from that, uh, there's a lot of like fancy dining tables. The Lion King series has these like really cool looking carved tables. And do I have like the right seats for these? That's essentials. Let's just go to seating. Like these sturdy chairs, I don't think quite. Why can't I put this down? Uh, I don't think quite fit. I have different stools though. Like the simple stool. Does that work with this table? Uh, not really. Do you like my bare armchair? Do you see this thing? Like, I don't know where I'm going to use it. Maybe in the glade. I don't know. It's amazing. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Hold on. Stop the presses. What about... What about this? Huh? Come on. Like... We could... We could shove two of these in here. Love the bear chair. Isn't it great? I mean, this could work. And like everything, we need it to center, and it does. Oh, man. The clock tower behind it doesn't look bad either. I'm thinking that this is maybe the centerpiece of our orchard. Like, everyone can sit here and hang out. I want to put something in the middle of it. What? I don't know. There's got to be something. Maui. <laughs> the Maui statue. Those benches are so good. I haven't found the perfect spot for mine, but I will. Yeah, I'm not a million percent sold on it just yet because the clock tower and stuff. Like, but I, I think we, I think we're very close to something here. Yeah. We need like a fire pit, but like a proper one. But we don't have that. So the clock tower sitting a little bit back. We put the benches kind of off the clock tower like that. Oh, the lighting just got weird over here. I don't know what's happening. And then remember the trees that I moved? And I said, I like these trees. I want to lose them. We could put those back where they were. Something like this, right? I think we can add some different trees. Um, like, yeah, there's a few different options. What about putting the clock tower in front or the middle, in the middle of the benches? Um, it's kind of a different look. I don't know. I kind of like it behind because I'm trying to create like a little backdrop as you walk in here. I think it looks pretty good there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. What about rocks? Mossy Forest of Valor. Okay. Glade. This is a meadow one. Oh, it's very large. And I have one here that I might keep. I don't really know yet. What else? Peaceful Meadow. So we could maybe... Just add a couple more, right? Stop it. There we go. 
Okay. Yes. I think this is kind of starting to come together already. So the path would probably need to go underneath these benches. Like that. But it doesn't necessarily need to be under the clock tower. I think we can actually pull that back a bit. Um, Did I mess up? I feel like I messed up. I did mess up. Okay, so the path would... Oh, boy. All right, here. Just put the clock tower there. Put this there. Take that. Put it there. Put this back here. And then we can finish filling this in. There. Yeah, definitely needs to have like a different path underneath it or a rug, but probably just the path. And something in front of it would be nice. Maybe bushes. I wish we had tiny hedges. Not the giant ones they gave us. Just tiny hedges. Otherwise, uh, mm, this. I think that's good. And then dwarfs, right? Oh, that's, is there a shorter one? Yeah. Everyone sits around and stares at the abnormally electric clock. <laughs> I wish it was a much larger clock. This is good-ish. It's fine. It's not, I don't know. I like the bushes. It needs something in front of it, but I, it, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> is that, does that make, that making sense? Matching coffee tables by any chance. Uh, not at this time, but there might be, we could put maybe these barrel tables here or this large dining table or uh, there's also this, but it doesn't really match the vibe. Potted flowers. Mmm, okay. Yeah. Those, yeah, those would look better. I only have one of those. Let's go, let's go make sure we get more of those. Um, I like that. I wish there was a chess set. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I love that idea. Okay, so this is this is coming along. I want those little plants to put. Oh, what about candles? Hold on, before I do that, what about candles? I have a few different options with candles. We have these like candle sticks, but we also have. Oh, here we go, melted candles, and those like they they light up the whole place too. I, I think I think I want to go with melted candles here. What do you think of that? There is the Mickey and Friends furniture set. Oh, I don't know if I have that. There's a small chess set. Interesting. I don't know where it would live, and I probably don't have it. Since you're making a picnic area, uh, you better believe I'm going to savor these summer moments. What? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> huh. 
Yeah, I don't have the chest set, I don't think. It'd probably be in this menu if I did. That's a good note, though. Thank you for letting me know. I like the candles. I think these are really cool. All right. So, moving on. We we have not planted a single tree in our orchard yet. Uh, and I think the trellises are also going to be required. So, we, let's, let's actually pick one of these up so we can order it. And we need to... How many do you think we need? I'm going to predict one, two, three, four... Four. I'm going to predict we need eight and then probably a trellis entrance too. I haven't bought anything from Scrooge today because I didn't want to uh, use up all my catalog space because I didn't know exactly what we'd be building. I just knew we'd be building in the, in the meadow here. Is that... Who is that? Okay. Someone just splashed water, but I can't see them. We need more trees around this place for sure, but man, it's looking awesome. All right. Let's go. All right, there he is. By the way, pro tip. I think this is true. I think this is accurate. Ooh, look. Shut up. So, buy all the clothing. Every single day, buy every piece of clothing. If you do, eventually, they will stop selling clothing. <laughs> like, for example, if you buy up the window displays, because there's only so many items that go in window displays, once you buy them all, they stop appearing because you've bought them all. The furniture doesn't seem to work like that, but the other items definitely do. The, the, the clothing items. So buy them every day. You do not get clothing repeats, says Zena. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Repeats. I know it costs money, but if you're, far, if you're farming pumpkins, you're probably good. All right. Furniture time. I need trellises, is, which I think we're under decor. All the tabs shifted around. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. That'll put us up to 16. It's so, Maui time. No, that's what we need. We actually do need 16. Okay. Love the new suit. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Yeah. So yeah, you don't get clothing repeats, uh, and it's just one of those other things you collect, right? Like collecting clothing, collecting furniture. Where you know it's just a big collection log. So just consider it that if it's clothing you just know you'll never wear, buy it anyway, because you're going to start getting some really cool stuff. It's just loading. It won't stop loading. All right. I'm starting to get concerned with how slow the game seems to be running. <laughs> I really hope I don't lose much progress. We really need more trees and stuff out there. Look how, like, barren it looks. We, need, we definitely need to keep working. I like back here. This is cool. This is I like this a lot. Uh, all right. So... Decor. I forgot to get a trellis entrance. But also, uh, there are none in my inventory. Can I fit the last one? Oh, I knew you were going to do that. Uh, wouldn't let, wouldn't let me put it. Okay. Let's let's skip that. So that's eight on each side. I definitely didn't need to order sixteen. I way over calculated. I I just I don't know. I was not thinking clearly in that moment. Winery vibes. I can see that. Um, you know what we can do? Is we can actually move these 
one over a bit, make the entrance a bit wider. And that'll help kind of fill the space a bit better. Now I don't want the trellis entrance because it won't look good. Um, okay. Oh, no game. Why? Oh, come on, game. Video game? No. Oh, uh, do you see do you see the mess that I have on my hands here? Okay. Never mind. That rock formation is still making our lives a living heck. Perfect. Okay. Yay. Is it glitching out? It's just because of this right here. It won't, we can't get any closer. The good news is you can't get in and out from here, I think. I don't know. I just want it to be blocked. So I could like, I could shove a tree right here and that'll block it off nicely. I think that's good. So yeah, this is, this spot is looking really cool. I'm liking this a lot. We're going to drag the path out here as like a reminder that, you know, we still got work to do. Make sure you don't block that mining spot. Yeah, it's it's accessible from probably both sides, to be honest, but definitely the back. Uh, all right, cool. The next thing I was thinking was what about the rest of this area? Are we going to keep it grass or do we want to use, we have a couple of different options for like dirt. Well, we just have the leaf strewn path. There is a dirt path. I don't think I have it for some reason, but leaf strewn path does look a lot like dirt and it could look really nice, like a nice contrast in here underneath the trees and or bushes. Oh, the candle on the table, right? I'll, I'll do that. Let me try it over here real quick just to see if I'm right. Like if this is like a good call or not, it's hard to say. Um, what do we think of that? The muddy path from the glade is right here. And I do like it, but the problem is I can't make more at this time. I don't have the recipe for it. So I'm worried I'll, I'll like it a lot and then I'll run out. How much is there? There's this, there's that, there's... Oh, there might be a lot. It doesn't really work with a brick. Do you think the mud will? Because now, now I'm wondering if we have enough. Is that the asphalt path? Uh, no, it's the loose gravel. If you get the muddy path, your inventory, your inventory doesn't give you the recipe. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. But it seems like we don't like this one. But this path. Oh, wait, there's a remove all button. I'm being silly. Okay. I think there's more anywhere. Oh, there's some back here. Am I going to want this in the glade? Am I going to regret stealing all this path? <laughs> really good chance I regret it in the future. Asphalt one looks gravel one, but darker. Yeah, I have the recipe for both. Okay. Too late now. I could always undo. Yeah, let's look and see how the muddy path looks now with uh, this. So we have 204 of these. We can't go too wild here, but I'm thinking, uh, why won't it let me go up? Why is it not working? It's something's blocking it and I don't know what. 
Oh, it's this. Okay. So I'm thinking we do this. Can I just... I was trying to preserve some of it, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Maybe a little bit. Oh, got dark again. What do we think of that? As someone who only uses the path in Animal Crossing, I'm not used to designing with right angles in the game. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know. The mud isn't necessarily doing it for me. It's kind of weird that there's mud. So I think I'm going to I think I'm going to pass on that. Uh-oh. It's not letting me remove all right because of these in the way. There we go. I don't need to have a path. I was just trying to give it some contrast. I was just trying to do something with this. But we'll we'll build, you know, vertically. It's fine. Okay, let's figure out our trees, right? So now I'm thinking the trees might go better if they're <laughs> facing... Oh, gosh. Uh, I just tried to do control Z. Uh, if they're where the shrubs are, but on the opposite side of the trellis. Like that, sort of. How is this not lining up? That's literally not possible. What? Where did I go wrong? Is it this one? Let's try that one. Okay, there we go. And then over here. Okay. And then the cherry trees could go in the back at this like cool little angle, right? I, I guess something like this. The mud look good under the non-fruit bushes because they don't have bricks. Oh, these bushes. Hmm. Yeah, that might be good. So let me, hold on, let me see here. I'm kind of thinking like that and then, okay. Do I forget the two raspberry bushes? Yes, thank you, yeah. Um, This actually came out one that and then huh okay I think this is pretty cool I still need more big trees here to, to really like pull this in pull this together but I'm I'm liking this I think this looks good I need to rotate them a little bit. Something like that. Is the pink and the green throwing anybody else? That's my next, like, that's why I'm sitting here kind of quiet because I'm just staring at it. I like the symmetry. I agree with that. I'm wondering if the pink and the green are messing things up for us. Need to see it in daylight. Ah, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, yeah, the candle, right? Sorry. Hmm. Mm hmm. We definitely need more trees. Ooh. Remember the hedge? Remember the large ridiculous hedge look how perfect that works back there do you see that 
Like, do you see how perfect that is? It's the exact width of these two benches. I'm kind of into it. Oh boy. What do I do? Oh no. This could change everything. This could really mess things up for us right now. What am I doing? My hand, it's just doing whatever it wants and I have no control, oh no. Oh gosh, no, no. Oh, it doesn't fit, what's going on? <gasps> Jerk. It's not actually perfect though. It's, now that I'm looking at it from bird's eye, it isn't perfect. But what if I put two of them? That could make it perfect. We have to move everything up a little bit to try this. So this is gonna be a lot of the undo button spam if we don't like it. Oh boy. All right, there, there he goes, just taking over again. Okay, so this fits now. What if we put it... Oh, the trees. Ah, okay. I guess the trees were not in line with each other anyway, because that's not how they were supposed to go. All right, whatever. We'll fix that later. There'll be a huge gap. It's awful. No, no, it'll be fine. It'll be great. So... Oh, it's not letting me push it over anymore. <laughs> ah, come on! Oh, poop nuggets. Why isn't it letting me put it down? Okay, let's test this big gap we were talking about first. You're right, yeah, there is a huge gap. It's not, it's so hard to like play this game right now. All right, undo, undo, undo everything. Okay. And the trees weren't even, we discovered, right? They were not where they were meant to be. Okay, that's what I want. <sighs> Try a slightly less massive hedge. The other hedge is too bald. It's not... This... Look at this thing. It fits, but like... It looks awful. I hate this hedge. It why does it, who how who designed this? Do you see I can see right through this thing and there's no twigs or anything holding it together. Like it looks like a wind gust is going to like someone built this house of cards with leaves and a wind gust is going to blow it all down. Like why is it like this? That head ha ha hates you? Yeah. Well, I hate it. Charlie Brown hedge. Yeah. Use the plaza trees as a hedge. Now these are cool, but they don't... Oh. Oh! Wait! You're right. They can kind of like merge into each other. Oh! Good idea. Okay. Someone smarter than me in the chat. Everyone sing the someone smarter than me in the chat song to them. You have to make it up because it doesn't exist, but uh, good luck. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey, this is great. And I can even put, you know what? I can put the clock tower here still. Oh my gosh. What an idea. What a big brain move. I got a C in music. <laughs> It's glorious. I don't know if, about the clock tower being blocked like that. Blocked tower, more like. Because I, like I like the window, you know? It looks really cool. So putting it back here takes that away. What do you guys think? Should I move the clock tower elsewhere and put something else behind the hedges? Or do you like the clock tower? Even the window is like now covered. We can always do that. 
That's a third option. The opposite side of the clock tower looks a little better, more overgrown. It does, it, yeah, but I like the window a lot, though. I replace your hedges and substitute my own. <laughs> There's someone smarter than Dan. They happen to be a fan. They managed to make a good plan, and honestly, that's something we stand. <laughs> that could be a song. I I think the gap works. There's someone smarter than me. It's not a surprise to be, but... It, in this economy, it's good to see that there is at least someone who is smarter than me. <laughs> that one's good, too. Where's Composer Cleo? Uh, okay, so this is... I think we're staying with this. Can you buy a second clock tower for elsewhere? Yes, uh, you can buy as many as you want. I think everybody wins in this case. So I like it. We're keeping it. It's good. It's staying. It stays. Everybody's happy. Everything is whole again. Um, I'm putting that there for now. Oh, I got rid of the big rock that was here. Oops. Oh, well. Okay, trees. We need more trees. We can put uh, this. Oh, no, we can't. No, we cannot. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Tall maple. Tall maple doesn't take up a lot of room. Can we put that back there? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, we can. Birch trees. I need those are nice and small. I need them now. Tall birch. Okay. Mm. Uh, I want to put that here. I want that right back in the back. Hey, what? I thought. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. I thought we could do that. Why is it being like this? I must have put it. Oh, there's a rock. There's a rock in the way. All right. No, it's still, the hedge is still. Uh, is there not another birch that's like way thinner? Like what's, what is this one or this one? No, this one. Is that the same? They might be the same. Well, anyway, um, let's keep working. So the short Japanese maple or whatever can go there. And this tree can go. Yeah, that's good. And then is there like, I need like a small tree that looks like it fits this area nicely. Oh, the light birch. That's what I was looking for. Okay, that can go right there. That's looking good. Keep clicking and get different trees. I did notice that they do, but it's the it's the footprint that I was worried about. Yeah, they do change. All the little, little trees and stuff change. Speaking of trees changing, I just need to like rotate these around just a smidge because they're just like all the same. There we go. What else? Small oak. How is the small? Who makes these rules? Okay. I think having that there is good. What do we think? <laughs> I like how I blocked the clock tower face completely. We made that big stink about the clock tower and I put a tree in there that just like, completely blocks it. Okay, that's a bit better. <laughs> I'm liking this. I think the only thing I would do at this point is put the big rock structure back here or something because you can see right into the glade and it's ugly. So I am thinking maybe we move the rocks out of the way and find a larger rock structure to put there that's a little more heidi. Like uh, Plateau, Dazzled Beach. That's the glade. I was thinking this, but it doesn't. It's not going to work with the trees there and stuff. It's just way too large. But there might be something in between these, maybe. What about that other one that I use everywhere? Um, 
stand by. Hey, you got options for trees and landscaping? Um, but you just have it. Yeah, there's just a big old menu for it. And you can put down as many as you want, too. Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay. There we go. It doesn't hide anything, but it looks nice. Is there is there another tree that is small? The light birch again. Let's just do it. I know we have a birch right there, but that's fine. I think that looks good. It helps it feel a bit more random. This is great. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I guess there's one more spot that could have a tree right there. So we could go back and get like the tall maple. Maybe not. It's too... Oh, the base of it's just too big. Okay. And the base of this one is the same. Okay. The short Japanese maple works so well. It's frustrating because I already have one right there. With small oak? <gasps> there we go. Oh, beautiful. There. Put a tall tree in the glade by the wall. Mm. Mm, that is smart. That is smart because there are options. I haven't even messed around in here yet. Like, look at these big, ugly trees. I'll come back to that. That's a good option. I'll come back to it. I think when we're in our character's point of view, we won't even see that stuff anyway. So it's fine. I'm loving this. I think it's great. I think uh, we just need to move a couple things, you know, here and there. Like uh, this rock can go there and this rock next to it. So just to have some stuff back there. Um, yeah, this is such a cool spot. The raspberry bushes. <gasps> I forgot about the raspberry bushes. Okay, where can those go? There's such a different color than everything in here, and there's not a lot of room left, so why don't we put them somewhere else? There's probably a lot of different places we can put those. Yeah, we're, we'll do that. So, okay, good. We have that. I kind of want to make a path to it. Um, so, let's figure that out. The temptation is to take the brick and somehow make it go up here. But I shouldn't do that. We should find another way. Let's get rid of this. Bloop. Oh, this area looks so naked now. And let's move this over here. Let's take the path. And I think there is a center point here, isn't there? Like, uh, we can do three wide, right? Stop it. Is that centered with the tree? The tree is too wide. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. This used to be a three wide path and we have three here. We just need to know if it's centered and I don't think it is. Uh, bench. Okay, so there's what that looks like. It is not centered. I don't know if centering is an option. We could go four wide. I think that would be centered. Uh huh. Okay, so yeah, let's move that there. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, what to do? Maybe? No, we made that three, and this is four. It doesn't matter. You'll hit the pond and have to go. Well, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna work around that. So. 
maybe you're right. Maybe what we do, how is that removing all? There we go. Maybe what we do is start it over here and deliberately make it like, okay, like uh, a stepping stone situation. And then it kind of turns into like a solid path. Oh, this is the wrong one. Ah, I knew I was going to do that at some point. I'm doing it again. Okay, first of all. Uh-huh. Second of all. Uh-huh. And then loose gravel. Okay. That's too close to the pond. Let's back off a sec and pull it there. Okay. Now it goes up. Vincent, how's it going? So what I'm thinking is there would be like a little, I don't know, brick dutes going up to this thing or something. Maybe these, right? And like, we just kind of grab a few. Maybe, maybe we just kind of do, it, it's like they're, they're getting like torn up by time, right? And, uh. And then we go back to, we go to loose gravel and it kind of like, I don't know. We could put some loose gravel in the, in the mix here. And we have to, okay. We have to work with it a little bit better than that. Let's see. I don't know. Do we like this? Is this something? Is this anything at all? Or is it too, is it too silly looking? So you see, you see it's like a transition, like a really bad one. I don't like it. Yeah, I kind of hate it. Uh, we gotta do something though. I think it's neat, but everything else is very polished. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Why don't games give us diagonal paths? Where is the video game like this, the cozy game that has diagonal paths? Stardew doesn't do it. Animal Crossing doesn't do it. Dreamlight Valley doesn't do it. Dinkum doesn't do it. Two by two squares of alternate path till you hit the full path. Uh, so you're thinking something like that. I don't like it. Because it's not, nothing's centering anymore somehow. I don't know how that happened. The path used to be, this used to be perfectly three by three. And somehow it got in, into even number territory. And I, I don't really know when that happened, but it happened. It was a thing that happened. Yeah, paths touching seamlessly without grass borders. Yeah. <sighs> right? It could be nothing there. And we could just put some suggestive shrubs and stuff. And then we could put like a little arch of some kind. Maybe, I don't know, like, like there. And it's kind of like, oh, come on down. It's like inviting us. Cause like over here, you know, where we have this, I was just gonna like make it connect in a little corner, a corner doodad. So it would probably, you know, So like that, right? Did you say suggestive shrubs? Yeah. Yeah, suggestive shrubs. Could the leaf rug be used to cover a transition or something? Pebbles might work. It 
could. Yeah, I, I mean... The leaf rug is very jungly. And this area is not. What's dropped stone? Like... <laughs> I don't know. This kind of looks... Awful. Oh, but I see what you're saying. Oh, but wait, yeah. So you could use a rug like this to cover the path transition. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of interesting. So we, we can make it come over to here. And then, <laughs> plop! <laughs> it's kind of stupid at the same time. <laughs> Get a rock and drop it on the ground. Wait, stone resource dropped on the ground. Oh! Yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't like that, but it's, it's creative. This is workable. I wish there were more natural-looking rugs like this. I know they'll add new realms, but I want new biomes. I think they'll add new biomes. The Dreamlight Valley is kind of small. <clears throat> so I think they'll probably do that. What do we think of that? <laughs> is that too dumb? It's honestly not bad. I mean, it's not, right? Hey, Jen. I, it's... There have been worse atrocities in video games that like i think i think we could deal with that i don't know about the banner i'm trying to find another one this one this one's probably the one i just totally deleted my little rock thing there but whatever once you add more bushes it'll look fine yeah suggestive bushes i remember now so and then we could I mean, remember what we did in the Forest of Valor where we put the banner, like, this might be something. I got to pick that, but uh, please save my layout. Do not, game, do not mess with me right now. You keep everything exactly where I have it. I see you loading screen. Don't do it. You keep everything oh you brought back the anemic hedge how far back do we get rolled what's going on oh no we were rolled back so far oh we had everything placed down so beautifully what the what the heck and it kept the path it just rolled back other decisions wow i'm just so mad right now why is why did some things get left alone and others come the stuff i hate the most in the world come back you trolly video game oh my gosh i'm so angry it could be worse the switch would have crashed we get it xena we get it the switch would have crashed <laughs> oh my god i would feel really annoyed if it did um okay fine the joys of early access but the problem is, do they even know that that's happening? Like, it's so frustrating to, like, want to report problems, do the right thing. But then, like, you got to scroll through hundreds of Discord messages to find out if you're wasting your time or not. I'm just so mad right now in the same tone you always have is cracking me up. No. It's... St I am angry. I'm literally angry. Why does no one take me seriously when I'm so angry? Look, the birch trees are gone. Remember the birch trees that I was like, it's okay. We have multiple birch trees, but they look great. And the rocks are gone. Oh my gosh. I'm going to scream. I'm going to... I'm going to do something. Something's going to break soon. My brain probably. Oh, you video game jerk. Jerk game. I hate you. You know how many when you walk by? 
Remember I hate you. That's every time I play Dreamlight Valley. Mm -hmm. I think we had this over here somewhere. Oh, game. I hate your guts. I hate your guts a lot. Where's my birch tree? You know, the one was really hard to find because I don't know where anything is because it's hard to find things. That one. Is it this one? No. Mm -mm. Find my emotional support axe. <laughs> they didn't give us an axe in this game. But they do have us collect sticks and stuff. So we need, we need lumber to build things, but no axe. It's too wholesome for that. Oh, light birch tree. This is not... No, this is it. It's not where I had it, though, right? Was it... No, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Are we back? Is it back to normal? I think this is about the way I had it before. I think this is fine. Remove all? Why would I do that? Okay, we still... Okay, yeah, no, we got that. All right. Let's just shovel this up while we're here. Look how glitchy that is, just hanging over. What are you doing? What are you digging the path for? I didn't tell you to do that. I don't know how anyone plays with the keyboard. All right. Let's try this again. Inventory. All right. It's fine. We're fine. No one's angry and everyone is fine. Look. Look. It looks great. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. This looks fantastic. I'm happy. Everyone is happy. And no one is angry. This is great. Hey, look. Yeah, we got the little shrubs back there. We're doing the pads. You said remove all. I don't get it. Okay. This is good. This is good. Do we want this birch tree over here anywhere? I feel like something else should go here. The birch tree can go there for now. Oh, you know what could go here is that big rock pile that we used to have. Because actually that was the right size for that spot. Glade. Uh, where is the Valor one? Or not Valor one. Um, meadow. Whatever. Peaceful meadow. Okay. Right. Yeah, so that was about here, and I like that. Because then we could take a path and wind it around the rock and go down that, those ramps or something. So that's good. And then we can even put, like, we can put the rock up there and put this birch tree. I don't know. This tree just keeps getting in our way, doesn't it? Just get rid of it. All right, so rock's there. Good. Okay. Good. Ryan Bollinger, how's it going? We could put this signpost. Um, here? I don't know. Here? I like these, but I never know where to put them once I start decorating myself. Anyone else have that problem? We could put it here. And then it's kind of like a, as you're walking up the path, kind of like a warning sign. Like, oh, go, go to the left in a sec. In, in four steps, turn left. It needs a picture of a clock. We need one that has a little clock tower on it. All right, so, yes, we talked about having, like, bushes and shrubs and stuff. How many do we want? Like, I feel like we could really overdo it in this moment, and uh, that's concerning. Meadow grass. There is meadow grass? How is that meadow grass? Why would I put dead grass around my meadow. That doesn't make any sense. Dead grass. That's what should be called. Dead grass. Castle beach bush uh, looks really good in this spot. And the peaceful meadow bush. I feel like we've had those everywhere. Is there anything else we could put? I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, what should I line, if anything, what should I line this path with? Or do I just need to put more trees and stuff? 
That's probably what I need. I probably just need some trees and stuff. I'm overthinking it with the bushes. Deado grass. Thank you. Yes. We'll bring back the, the dual birch here. We'll put that there. And we'll, maybe we'll make things kind of dense with the trees, right? Oh, I already have a maple over there. Okay, wait a minute. So what if I put this... Okay, since we already have this, let's put it next to the pond. Because we're kind of working with that area right now. So put that there. Put this here. Okay. Anemic hedge. <laughs> I think I'm going to... I've been recording this whole time on the other thing. So I'm going to stop that recording because my graphics card is like, stop. Uh, yeah, we could put that tree there. Simple maple. Right here, maybe? I kind of... I do like these kind of randomized looking trees. Now this bench is facing this pond, and this bench would have the pond to its back. And that that's kind of weird, right? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Should I take this bench and put it across from this one, perhaps? I can even put the lunchbox there still. What do you think of that? That's kind of nice. Little park benches. I like that. I also like this. But I'm kind of thinking maybe it does go um, over here. I think that's helping. And then we can put like another bush there. Big tree near the, le near the leaf pile. So the leaves make a tiny bit more sense. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Got bigger brains than me hanging out. Hanging out in the stream. Everyone with a bigger brain than me. Uh, let's put it here. Right? Yeah, it's a little snug. Let's move it back just a tiny bit. It's right there. I I love the overhang this is creating. You know, it's kind of making the path really like intimate and cool. We could probably put another tree nearby. Oh, there's already a small oak on this side. Let's swap a these. We can put this one here. And this one up. Uh, tree. This one here. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad it's not multiplayer, because I'm like you, I like I love mining. I don't like the mining in this game. Let's go, Neil, and parkour. I love the way this is turning out. Uh, we definitely need these lamps throughout, for sure, hundred uh, percent. We'll 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 get some more of those. I think we we don't do symmetry with these. We kind of we kind of random randify them. So we would have one like yeah over here. Uh, we already have them kind of random, don't we? And now we have this one. Should put like by this little seating area, and then it means this tree should probably move back a little bit, just so it's not crowding too much of that spot. Um, let's move them. No, I kind of like them on the path, but the bench now now I'm not liking. Should the bench be on the path too? Oh, what's happening? They used to be even. There we go. Yep. Lunchbox. There we go. How multiplayer lets you visit other valleys? Oh, yes. We need that for sure. I don't know what multiplayer would be if not visiting other valleys, though. Like, that's the thing. Okay. This is, this is turning out pretty nice. I'm liking this. I like how the majority of our time now... I was going to build this today. And I wanted to put this overhang and all this work over this. And now I'm just over here. <laughs> Working on a totally separate area. 
I was going symmetry. I was doing all this stuff. And now I'm over here for some reason. It doesn't, I don't know. I don't know how this happened. Um, anyway, I'm realizing that we have this extra cool stuff over here, like flower beds and things like that. Um, and while we're kind of making things a bit random, like, you know, should I try to, I don't know, do something that looks stupid. Um, maybe flower beds wouldn't look stupid. Maybe we could do, I don't know. I don't know. Something like this, maybe different flowers because they don't really match a whole lot. I like the bicycle. I think that's far enough for this lamp post too. Maybe, maybe there. It is still the meadow, you know, as advertised. I, we are working in the meadow. Currently watching in VR. Nice. Are you using big screen? Are you like in a big movie theater right now? Have you invited other people to watch? Oh, please tell me you've invited other people to watch in a big screen movie theater. Put the bike next to the bench. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, like here, opposite of the lamp post. Uh, I don't love that. Maybe there. I kind of like the bench being there, and then yeah, we can put. Yes! Yay! Oh yeah, big screen's cool. I just finished the quest yesterday, and now I'm into. Onto decorating. Nice. Congrats. I haven't finished all the quests yet. I keep bouncing between quests and decorating. It's been working out. We need more trees. But yeah, I like that bike. I wish it wasn't yellow. I kind of wish it was a different color, but that's fine. I think we should use more flower beds, more nature -y stuff. I'm getting a bit intimidated because this area kind of opens up and I don't know what to do exactly. Let's just kind of grab some of the trees that we've been using a lot, right? And then and we'll we'll place them as needed. So small oak is in the mix. Simple maples in the mix. Another simple maple probably somewhere. Another smoke small oak probably somewhere. Um, a tall maple has been here in the mix a few times. Was that a tall black maple? The grass doesn't even match on this one. Uh, so what about no 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 uh, tall maple. There's simple maple. And then, yeah, birch trees, which we're always trying to find, always trying to scavenge for those. Here's a light birch. This was that dual birch tree we were kind of playing with earlier. And what else? Why can I never find this tree? This one. Nope. It doesn't even look like the photo. The photo shows a little piddly tree. Okay, this is the piddly tree. I don't have any waterfalls yet. Uh, I was just talking about those earlier. Okay, this is really hard now because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> what happened? Okay, okay. I know what happened. I did this. This is all my doing. Let's just, let's just, everyone calm down. It's going to be fine. We're going to move this tree over here. That's probably permanent-ish home. Uh, maybe this one back here from now. Actually, there's too many, so we'll get rid of that. We'll put this one here. We'll put this one there. Uh, we'll put this birch. Actually, no, that birch stays. Where's the other birch? This one? No, that's the same one again. I moved it. I moved it back. No. Yes. Did I do that? Okay. Okay. Oh, artsy raid. Look at that. Artsy raid. How's it going, everybody? Okay. I'll explain in a moment. Welcome. I'll let you all get in here. Favorite games in VR? Uh, I mean, definitely because I'm basic. Beat Saber's good. Uh, I like Job Simulator. It's funny. Um, and then there's a city building game. It's very simplistic, but it's really adorable. I like it a lot. 
Me Raid, got to manage a baby, but enjoy the friendship. Thank you, Artsy. Thank you so much, everyone. Please follow Artsy Gamer. Composer Cleo's in there too. How are you, Composer Cleo? We were we were making songs up earlier. <laughs> you just missed it. Welcome everyone from Artsy's channel. So we're building in Dreamlight Valley. I know Artsy's been doing a lot of art streams, and uh, those have been amazing. I love the lore going into all the characters being made. Uh, so we're working on the meadow today. So the first thing we did was make this nice big flat area with all these topiaries and stuff. And it's not quite done, but I got distracted by this area back here. And that's currently what we're working on, which is already being enjoyed by pl plenty of characters. But um, I'm st right now I'm just in the mix of I'm trying to get trees placed down in a way that makes sense. But this, we spent a lot of time in here today. So I wanted a little fruit orchard with all my extra fruit trees. And... This is kind of what we ended up with. And it looks pretty nice. I like it a lot. Uh, and then we put these bushes out here, which look great. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we've been up to. And we're trying to get some trees everywhere now. And I'm trying to get these street lamps as well. We're just kind of randomly placing these um, throughout the build. Just kind of, you know, here and there. So yeah, that's the that's the grand tour of the area we've been working on. Uh, I just love the way it's coming out. It's looking great. I'm doing good making songs, darn it. Were you, were you singing? I'll have to watch. Uh, no. <laughs> Composer Cleo's been begging me to sing, and I won't do it. Uh, that's not the inventory. This is the inventory. Okay. So... Anyway, I've gotten very distracted. What we're doing is trees. We're trying to put trees in places where they make the most sense. We did get raided. Artsy sent over all the folks from her lovely stream. Which was very kind. If anyone has questions about Dreamlight Valley, uh, I know a lot of people still don't play. So I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. I think this one should go here. And I think this one is overkill, so we'll get rid of that. We also need to keep in mind that we'll probably want a path to that ramp. So now that I'm seeing that in our future, uh, I'm thinking about moving some more stuff out of the way and fixing that. I think that would mean our street lamp has to move, but that's okay. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, the tree. The tree is completely in our way. Ah! <laughs> Can't see anything! Okay, tree. You've made your point. If Cleo asks you, then you must. That's what I'm saying. It will happen, I'm convinced. Um, no. <laughs> let's, let's see. Put this over here now. Yeah, okay. Put that there. This path I'm not super worried about. This one I'm good with. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Uh, street light. Street light. I have more. I have been collecting these. So let's put this one. Actually, do we want to put any more? Like, we could put one here, but it's kind of close to this one. Maybe we'll just put it right there. Maybe not so close to the shrub. Maybe right there. Or would it look better here? Uh, it's hard, right? It's probably good there. So you're moving trees today. Finally realized why it's called root beer because it tastes like dirt. What? Why? Is, no. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, Ritsu. 
I'm sorry. There's no other, I can't say, there's nothing else to say to that. Except you're wrong. We need something right here, and not a flower bed. In fact, I think just one flower bed's fine. It's probably all we need. Okay, let's save our progress this time, game. Perfect. Oh, this area's looking good. Mushrooms are gone, out of our way. We should, I did like having something here, but I didn't want it to be those mushrooms. Let's pick up some more of this stuff too. This is hard, all this like nature-y decorating. <laughs> It is difficult for me. It's coming along, though. Like, when we look down this path now, it, it looks very inviting. I love the street lights and uh, the little banner here kind of greeting us here. I, li I like the benches. We have to get, I don't know, something right here. Maybe even something over here. Well, this is going to be a path to the other, yeah. You know. Root beer was my favorite as a kid. I yeah, I used to oh man. I used to put down some root beer. Meadow's looking really cute. Thank you. Yeah, we got this one over here that I'm not again super worried about. It could do with a street lamp or something. I mean oops. Ah, okay. Lighting, right? Like, yeah, it could do with, like, a street lamp right there. Of course Kato hates root beer. <laughs> Why? Would anyone expect anything less? Uh, I'm going to probably not put the path going into the glade yet because I know I'm going to move Wally's garden eventually, and then I'll probably just make this, like, a four-way street kind of junction here, so it'll it'll do that. And is there a sign that kind of points to the glade? Because I could put that on the edge of it. Let's check. This is lighting. It's probably, if there is one, it's probably under decor. I know I have an extra sign or two. Yeah, this one's to the beach, though. Have you tried placing streamless by Wally's place yet? It looks kind of cool. Oh, no, I haven't yet, but eventually when I decorate Wally's, I think this is the glade. Uh, eventually when I decorate Wally's, I will. Yeah, that's good. That's exactly where that should go. Okay. So that'll go right there. I think the street light should kind of go over here now that I'm looking at this, like just like that. Or... Should this go here and the street lamp kind of crowd it like that? Oh, I like that a lot. Don't know how you're doing small decorating, but I love it. I I don't know. Uh, I like where it's going. I, I definitely like it a lot. It's just about trying stuff, I guess. No matter what, in games, I just wouldn't overthink it, you know? That's like the biggest takeaway, I think, is just... Allow yourself to try stuff. Path doesn't line up with the glade entrance. I know. Um, it's going to eventually, because what I'm going to do is this path is going to come up here and turn, and it's going to stop right in here. But for now, I just wanted to create like a little four-way street. So now we have like a path that's going to go up to the plaza and then down to the glade, it's right through here, which is going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Okay, cool. I want more stuff, like benches, but not benches. 
Uh, let's go to the all tab and just kind of like scroll through and see what, what comes up. Mm -hmm. There's some good options. I wish there were more flower beds, but not the ones we have. Like I, I like the ones we have, but I want more options for flower beds. Like a big square one. I get the feeling nothing's going to line up in this game perfectly. It's, it is like that. I'm trying where I can to have symmetry, but I'm allowing myself to try things like we're doing now. I don't have like a lot of, s I have a lot of stuff, but like for what I'm doing, of course, I don't have what I want. I like this perch, this fallen log perch, but it doesn't look good in this area. Like the, the type of log, it just doesn't match what we're, what we're doing, but it's an amazing item. We need to also, I want to place these street lamps in our new plaza that we made. Yeah, I really got to get out of the zone we're working in right now. It's. We're still, we still have other work to do. Uh, the only other thing we could do is play around with like rocks and landscaping and stuff like that. So Mimu's back. So like we could put some rocks, why not? Uh, that one doesn't really work. There we go. Sort of. It, the tree is blocking us from putting it where I actually want to put it. <laughs> so I guess there is fine. Maybe now I should, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, something like that. And then always put one of those with it. Fallen tree trunks work as a bench. Oh, you can sit on those. Oh, I didn't know. You could always use some of the fallen log types from the landscaping. Feed them could look natural. So that's, you're talking about this one here. It's kind of a different moss color you know uh but i do like them i is there is there one in trees is that what do we got what do we got what do we got eh, yeah then there's this one i was this is what i was looking for but again, like, yeah, it doesn't, it's cool looking, but the grass and everything, I don't know. Is there a scarecrow in this game? There might be. I haven't seen one yet, but there definitely might be. There's this thing. <laughs> Which is just amazing. In the trees, third down on the left. One, two, three. Fallen trunk. Oh. Oh, it's kind of ugly. It's like, uh. I, I want more stuff like, why can't we customize these things? I want, see like, this is what I want, yeah. There's also a stump. Uh, like squat tree stump. But see how much darker it is than everything else? Like, it, it's meant for a different area. And that's what I hate. Like, I want it to look like it came from this zone. You can't sit on the stuff, unfortunately. Since you're decorating with rocks, my rock collection isn't the best, but it has sedimental value. Oh, my gosh. Get out of here, Ritsu. Can we attack the Disney characters? Um, Define attack carefully it's kind of ugly but it's what i want <laughs> well that's true i like these items are awesome but they won't 
I can't customize them to like look like they're from this part of town, you know? And that makes them less fun to use. <laughs> Define attack. I try. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to take a break from this area because it's like driving me nuts and let's let's work on this. We we have street lights we wanted to try out. I use variations like Animal Crossing. Yes, that's why I'm spoiled. Animal Crossing has spoiled me in that way. Okay, so I was thinking of using these street lamps. Not I have these here now. I don't want them. Um, so goodbye. Uh, these street lamps. I guess we could start by putting them on the corners. I suppose, but I kind of want something in the middle. Would it be too much to put four of these in the middle? We should resize things like in The Sims. I mean, you think that's uh, resizing things in The Sims is awesome? Just wait until uh, Paralives comes out, if it ever does. The options you get in that game are just madness. I think it's too much in the center here. Oh, gosh. Um, but, no, stop it. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe on the inside corners of the shrubs? Is that good? This hedge is an item, yes. Yeah, you can get these from Scrooge. Oh, I just... Uh. Okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> There. <laughs> Definitely better on the inside corners. Wait. So, like, I have them? We need more of them. So, let me let me steal one so I can go order more. And for anyone who doesn't know, this is how you order stuff from Scrooge. You have to, you have, to have one in your inventory. The ugly trunk is back. Did the game do that to me? Uh, whatever. I don't care anymore, game. Do whatever you want. Where is Scrooge? Here we go. Time to make some money. <laughs> All right, so we want to order some things. How many more lights can we get? We have 16 things we've ordered so far. Why don't we try ordering seven? No, wait, okay. This would be, if we didn't have one on us, we'd be taking back seven. What if I want to take back eight? Yeah. Gosh, I only have one more thing I can order from him. Okay. Oh, bye -bye now. So Megan, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. What happened? I, apparently the, the game rolled back some of my progress again. The loading screens today have been especially brutal. But my computer is acting up overall. I, it's about time for me to do some cleanup on it because it I have been having a heck of a time with some of the most basic things. Let me see. So that you're right. That stump came back. I just settled this area. I was like, okay, we're done with this area for now. And it, it rolled it back on me. I think that's about where we got to. All right. Sweet. Uh, lights. That's what we're working on now. So we'll go to lighting. And we'll go here. And I'm trying to figure out the best placement for all these lights. I 
I'm kind of wondering if that's the way to do it. Remember that one time he took like two mil and gave you 2,000 coins? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I think I made a video about that. Okay, yes. Loving the lights. I think these are great. Kind of resembles it's a different area than the one up here where we used like the same lights that we've been using. It's awesome. That's a lot of light. <laughs> well, it's dark. Looks good, more balanced, more height variation. Yes, that's what we needed too. We, we also have these trees that I'm, I am still planning on like scattering around for height variation, but um, you know, different kinds because I'm, I just keep using this one over and over. <laughs> I have this one over here. Like what else do we got? We're back in the tree menu. So, yeah, I like the tall black maple is like a great tree. Except, if I'm looking at it right, the okay, no, the grass does match. All right, one of the trees we grabbed, the grass wasn't matching. It was very frustrating. Put that there, put that there, okay. And we have some trees here that they kind of put for us. I might just leave them. What is every tree's least favorite brand of deodorant? Axe. Okay. Thanks, Ritsu. I think that's just everyone's least favorite deodorant. Just in general. Now, this one, I've been probably using it a lot as well, but it's pretty... Oh, yeah. That's This is the one we haven't been using because the grass underneath is like... It makes no sense. It's just really dark. Maple. So I'm using the simple maple everywhere. What about more? Yeah, more of these short Japanese maples. Someone will be getting an axe sponsorship. I mean, would would I even be able to sell one of those? I don't think so. Axe is just awful. By the way, while we're calling out brands that make a terrible product, Folgers. I'm going to put that out in the universe too. Okay. I think, I think for trees, let's start there. Let's go back and see if they stayed put for one. But to how we're liking it, I, I like this. Um, the Folgers is disgusting. Thank you. It's the best part of waking up. Yeah, for the CEO of Folgers. Yeah, this is. I like the trees around this place. I think it looks nice. But I also think we were talking about height variation. I think it'd be nice to have more height variation in the middle-ish part. Because the, the trees around it, again, yeah, I do I do not mind them. But it's so, like, we have such a clear view from here to, like, not just the castle, but my house and the store. Like, it just, we just need more stuff. <laughs> I just spit out my drink. Oh, sorry. Axe and glitter are two banned substances for my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had folders in so long. Duncan is the only Duncan for this Boston girl. Cafe du Mondi makes the best coffee. As long as you like... Well, I don't know what that is. We secret the places Folgers with mud. Let's see if they know. <laughs> I think they that's what they said like a decade ago. And no one noticed. I, or everybody noticed. <laughs> Everyone stopped buying it and Folgers forgot to change it back. I don't drink coffee. Well, that then you do have that in your favor, I suppose. What am I doing again? Oh, um, right, trees. I was talking about taller trees. All 
Okay, that won't work. That won't work. Um, that won't work. Uh, small oaks. That's what I'm missing. We could put a small oak right here, except we can't because it won't let me because of the path. But it would be cool if we could. You drink coffee in Animal Crossing? It counts. Why not? I want a tree blocking my house, and I think this is the one. So we could take a path tile out and make that happen. Uh, I can I can remove this. And I can take this rock that I love so much and move it back. And I know we are risking our mining spot, so let's be careful about that. Small oak. No, that's a... No, okay. Now, the small oak... It's not what I was looking at a minute ago. It was, it had a wider base. If soldiers or acts want to sponsor me, my DMs are open. Cato <laughs> will shill anything to our audience. It, it matters not. Not me though. If, if, I, if I find a brand that is terrible, I'll be honest with you and let you know. And Folgers and Axe are two of those brands. Just two. I, I have many more. Is this the only one? Like, seriously? No, I had another one of these trees. Where did it go? It wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It was none of these. Like, and it, This is too small, although I might use it over here or something. Let's put it there so I remember. Dan has standards. It, where is it? How did I lose this tree? Chipotle can't sponsor you? Amen to that. Is that because it'll cause your audience to take too many bathroom breaks and therefore no one will be watching your stream anymore? That's what I'm worried about. I like the smell of coffee, but kicking caffeine pills was one of the best things I've ever done for myself. Can heal stimulants. Yeah, I only have one caffeinated cup of coffee a day now, uh, and I'm a lot better off for it. But I definitely uh, <laughs> keep trying small oak. <laughs> I definitely uh, drink a lot of decaf now because it's like my comfort drink. I don't know. There was a wider one, I swear, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it was this one all along. But I removed a whole tile of path. I guess I needed to for this, but that's not how it was supposed to. There was a, it had like a little grass nub underneath it. I swear. Fur, no, birch, tall birch. No, it's neither of those. It's not any of the dead trees. It's not the slender purple thing. It's not this. I've tried this a hundred times now, but I'll try it again. No, it's not. Well, is it though? No, the leaves were darker. The leaves were like this. But it had a wider base, and it's gone. Okay, never mind, then. Trees don't always give you the same ones. But it had a wider base. That doesn't change. The tree's formation changes. They change shape, but they don't change physical... It had, like, a this. Now what? What? Okay, no, I found it. I either found it or you're right. I don't know. Let me put it there. Let's... No. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. This is all I wanted. Right there. Okay. That was... That was painful. That was just ridiculous. You said the trees changed earlier, and I know that, but I'm convinced that the base of the tree does not change. But I guess I'm wrong. So, like, we have a fir... Let's try the fir trees. We have that one. Yep. As expected. As expected. Like, they're all the same on the bottom. I know that they're different heights, and that's fine. It's just the bottoms that I'm looking at. You're saying the bases do change. I guess they do. 
I guess it's painful for all of us. We all endured a lot of pain just now. I'm sorry. Anyway, I got to now I got to figure out the ugly corner here. Huh. Can this go? I mean, that's not bad. Hold on. You you go anywhere else. You go over here. Is the, are the sticks in the way? I think the sticks were in the way. I could have just moved them, I guess. Those are can actually be moved with the mouse. And I guess I'll do that anyway. All right. <laughs> Clicking the wrong buttons. I'm trying to get this tree to like get as close to the rocks as possible like that okay and then this tree so this okay wait a minute so this rock can go there this tree can go right behind it and then i want another one of these bushes because i like who's humming how are you humming i'm in build mode stop who's humming i don't I thought when you were in build mode, everyone shut the heck up. David, I'm doing good. How are you? I'll, David, I lied just now. I'm not doing good. I'm losing my mind, David. I was doing good. It's just the game is testing me. It's testing me in ways that I didn't sign up for. Other than that, I was good, I swear. But how are you? I don't understand the rules of the trees. I don't get it. There we go. I'm just trying to put the, that bush kind of similar to where I have this one, but different. But now I kind of want it the same. But it can't be the same because the walls. Uh, I'll just, yeah, just put it there. That's fine. I feel you on that doing well. Oh, that's good. Listen to chat more. Sometimes, yes. But sometimes no. Sometimes just no. Okay, look how good that looks. That's that's nice. We're not even going to talk about over here yet. Um, this area is just a separate mess. Uh, the one back here. I've gotten very distracted today. And it led to something amazing. It led to over here. And I love the way that turned out. But we neglected this area. And now I'm like trying to catch up. I really wanted this area completely finished. And it's not quite there. I don't... Anyway. <laughs> there was something else I was going to try. Someone suggested that you could take Donald's boat and move it into the meadow. And I just wanted to see what that would look like. Don't ask anyone how it got here, but you can absolutely do this. It just doesn't work super well. <laughs> like the rock completely blocks the entrance to it. You have mine there? Uh, I have mine there, says uh, Xena. Like, that's where I want it. I want it centered in there. But, it, but the rock. I can move the bush out of the way. But that rock is like, move. I can't move the rock. Can I move the rock? No. It looks like you can, but you cannot. I can put it there. And maybe the rock looks like it's supposed to be. It looks like a step. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe maybe the rock is like a step. Okay, do we do we like that? Ah, where am I? Okay, hold on. That's not fair. You can rotate the boat. Yeah, but I already have... 
I already have it in mind that it should face the way it's facing. It could, the other place I could put it would be facing this way, but there's a stump there. Yeah, Ursula's house is probably going to move to the glade. Um, do we, do we like this? Like, is this, it's pretty cool, I think, other than the fact that you can't fish there anymore. Freezer doesn't like it. Who? Why? Why the humming? How come they're allowed to hum when I'm in this menu? I don't want to hear them humming or singing or anything. You can fish there. I guess you can. I don't know. It's it's cool that you can do it. We'll say that. But also, it, it's a nice... I think it makes the beach look more interesting. Disney humming or singing is required. The spawn spots will move? Okay. That's good to know. If and when I get another house to put right here, maybe then Donald's house could be there and that would make more sense. There's just there aren't a lot of water features, so it's kind of a shame to take one and like put Donald's boat in it. You move Donald's boat to the dock. That's kind of interesting too. Of course it doesn't. Oh, it does center. See, I like that too. I'm going to leave it there. You flip the boat around, put it out to sea. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Can we decorate on this thing? No. Well, yeah, this is... <laughs> I was looking at the well. Uh, this is good. I'm mostly happy with this. I think we need more items. I just need more stuff to kind of put around this, this meadow plaza we've made. But it looks good. Make sure you've done Maui's coconut quest first. I did. I did. Yeah, I guess I can't catch eels if I put it there. Uh, what if I need them, though? Man, I kind of might. I, I don't want to lose options for things, you know? Whatever. We'll leave that for now. Whew. This is great. I love how Goofy Stall is here. And it obscures a, a problem with our path, which I like. Uh, I, I love this area that we made. I thought you can catch more eels. Like this area with the clock tower. Where's Goofy? What is going on? Uh, is just awesome. And I love it. And then, yeah, we got our path over to here, which needs a little work. We can, we can always put something in the middle right there. Just maybe more decorations. I don't know. We clearly need more items. But this is like a really good start. I like I like this a lot. The only thing I don't like is how close it is to this well over here. But when you really like break it down, Dreamlight Valley is just not that big. Like walking from here to the next well over there in the Forest of Valor is also not very far. So <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Cool. I'm going to say that we uh, we did it. I'm going to see what's going on on the rest of YouTube. It looks like Koi is streaming Dinkum. And we're going to go check it out. So if you like games similar to Dreamlight Valley and Animal Crossing, stick around. We are going to send you over to Koi's stream. When you get over there, be sure to say Crossing Minute Raid. And then, uh, yeah, we got a week of uh, content coming up here on the channel. So, you know, stay tuned. And uh, I will see you around. Thanks uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, thanks to Artsy again for the raid. Um, 
Kato, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Kato. Be sure to subscribe to Artsy. Be sure to subscribe to Console. Uh, console. Dang it. Uh, Composer Cleo. Um, I think Horrible Gaming was in here earlier too. There's so many different streamers that like drop by. Um, so you should you should be finding everybody. Donald's like throwing a tantrum about the streaming over. I'm sorry, Donald. You should be finding everybody and uh, subscribing to them. All right, everybody. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your night. Stay safe. I'll catch you later.